Hey everybody, it's Penny Shelton here of PennyShelton.com coming to you from my real food kitchen in Tulsa, Oklahoma for a brand new episode of Foodie Friday. Well, the weather has changed here in the last couple of days. We've gone from the extreme summer heat directly into cool, damp days of autumn. And it's put me into the mood for something warm and nourishing. And so today's episode is all about the beauty of broth. Making broth is an efficient way to extract vitamins, minerals, collagens, amino acids, from vegetables, plants, herbs, to create a nutrient-dense, soothing, simple-to-digest beverage. Broth has always been part of my personal cleansing and healing protocol, all the way back to my book, Raw Food Cleanse, that I wrote in 2009. I shared a recipe for a balancing broth. I just um, always have felt like it's a grounding way to bring warmth and soothing nutrients into the body. My favorite way and the most efficient way to make your own homemade veggie broth is to utilize your kitchen scraps. When you're juicing, making smoothies, salads, or soups, be sure to save all of those little bits and pieces, peelings, stems, skins, put it in a Ziploc bag, a freezer safe bag. Every time you make food, you can add to the bag. And once you have about a gallon size bag full of veggie scraps, you're ready to make your broth. Just add all of your ingredients to a stock pot, cover with water and bring to a boil and let it simmer for about an hour. And then you have a most delicious nutrient dense veggie broth that keeps well in the refrigerator for about a week or you can freeze it for up to six months. So today I want to take my typical veggie broth recipe and take it up a notch and turn it into a healing immunity broth. This morning I took uh, four cups of veggie broth out of the freezer and I steeped it with some adaptogens. A tablespoon of holy basil uh, or Tulsi tea, teaspoon of ashwagandha, and a teaspoon of astragalus. These adaptogens are amazing for your immune system among a long list of other health benefits that I'll post underneath this video. So we're gonna start this healthy immune boosting broth by putting this, it's cooled down now, and I'm strained it. This, if you don't have one of these little teapots, so it has a little strainer in it, so we'll take that out. And then I'm going to just add the broth, the strained broth to my Vitamix blender. A regular blender would be fine for this broth. You're not really gonna be grinding up anything really major. Juice of one lemon. I have a Myers lemon. I just love the flavor of a Myers lemon. That's going to brighten up the flavor. I'm adding one clove of garlic. You can add more if you like more garlic. A pinch of Himalayan salt to add minerals. A tablespoon or two of nutritional yeast. It's gonna give it a nice creamy, cheesy flavor. Let's add two. Let's add a tablespoon of light white miso. You know, fermented foods are so good for our immune system. I just think miso is so delicious. So we're gonna add that to the blender and that's it. We're just gonna blend it up. One of the things I love about this recipe is how easy it is. If you don't have pre-made veggie broth in your freezer, you can obviously just use store-bought organic veggie broth. So on a day that you might be really busy, this recipe comes together in no time. You just add the ingredients and you can keep it in a thermos, take it to work with you, and you have heartwarming, nutrient-dense, immune-boosting vegetable broth in a flash. Let's taste it. Oh, 
this is going to be the mainstay of my diet. If you are trying to cleanse your body, if you're on a juice cleanse, if you're um, trying to lose weight, this is such a great way to get more nutrients into your diet without adding extra calories. And the flavor, well, you're just gonna have to make it. I know you're gonna love it. Cheers. Mm.